The next thing we're going to look at is grouping. In order to group your values together, simply drag a bounding box around the outside of all of the events you have created. Because of the hierarchy, be very sure not to manually select anything above in any parent track. These will automatically be selected for you, but make sure you don't include those in your group. Once your values are selected, simply right click any of the events and select group selection. This will create a colored box around the outside and you can even go in and give it a name if you wish. A few useful things to know about the groups. Firstly, we can copy the group. Right click the group itself, scroll down to copy group, group one. I can then paste my copy onto that track. But also, due to the laws of the timeline, I can take that group and also place that onto any other parameter within the Hippo network that has, in this case, a fading value. For example, contrast can also accept this group. You'll notice the colors are always different and it also says copy of group one. However, go back to the original group and this time select duplicate group. The benefits of a duplicate group is it retains the links with the original group like so. So as you use your group again and again in multiple tracks, the links are always retained meaning any changes you make to the first group will automatically be updated into all other duplicates, but any change you make to any of the duplicates will once again be updated in every single duplicate. Very useful when working on a show that has a lot of repeated sections.